Hello, everybody. Here we are again, another golden sample of the week. Spiro here. This time with my uh, picture moved to another corner. The uh, tie, wait, over here, over there, somewhere, right? I'm somewhere in the bottom, bottom right now. Uh, top uh, left, it was all right, but I figure I'd hang out down here for this one. Uh, and hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about gimbal walks. And uh, here's my webcam again. I did not put a drape or anything behind me. I thought you could check out my uh, my basement some more. And uh, I am still wearing pants, so that's a thing. It's it's different pants from the last one uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, it's a different pair of pants. you got to change them every once in a while. You know, the whole staying home thing gets to you after a while. But I digress. Uh, we're going to be talking about gamble walks today. And this ties in a little bit with my audit of VKS Golden Sable that I did a little while ago. But it is it's it is and it's not. It's different. And the gamble walk is, is a really effective type of uh, walkthrough slash audit that you can use in order to collect information. And there's a few key points with a gamble walk that you want to avoid. So we'll do a little bit of education at the beginning here and then we'll get into the work instruction itself. Uh, so, you know, the key points are you, you don't want to find a solution for everything as you're going out on the shop floor right away. So th that's not what this thing is about. Uh, and it's not about pointing fingers at anybody or, or disregarding what people have to say. It's all about observation and it's all about listening and documenting feedback. And uh, your operators are your, your greatest asset. And this is something that you really need to do is get in tune with them. You know, be, be horizontally integrated and be in tune with them and, and get that feedback. Uh, it's, it's all a tie to continuous improvement, right? And we all want to do that, and we all should be thinking in that mindset of continuous improvement. Operators are a great asset. They're going to give you the best feedback in the world, and you want to use that. You want to take that, you want to record it, and you want to utilize it. Uh, and you don't want to do on-the-spot corrections with something like this. You want to observe. You want to record. You want to analyze. You want to find a solution later. That's what you want to do. Uh, and operators have to feel comfortable to give you that feedback and provide you that information. So you have to be very attentive. You have to listen. You can't disregard what anybody has to say. Take it all in as feedback and then see what works, see what doesn't. Uh, that being said, let's jump into our work instruction here. So we've got our gimbal walk work instruction. And we're using a couple of different features in this one, which is kind of cool. I started up, and, and one of the things we're doing is this is just a one-step work instruction in this case. And what we're using this for is kind of a gateway to other things. Uh, this is kind of like a uh, standard process link, a link to standard processes, let's say that. Uh, because we have our different uh, things that we do here, right? Our description, our health and safety, 5S adherence, our work assignment, our job process, and our kind of uh, work audit, if you will and then quality and execution of the VCAS process and the overall view of the process itself and if the area is neat, tidy and all that stuff like that. So you have these different things. And you can modify this, of course, to anything you want. You know, fit it to suit your needs. That's what you want to do. But you've got this process and this is one that we have just as an example. And there's different ways of looking at this or, or accessing different items. Uh, so we've got this here and then if I needed to know for example, uh, what's my 5S adherence type of stuff that I need to be investigating or looking at? You know, we have links, and you could do links in VCAS a couple different ways. And we want to show you a couple different examples. So I could go on over here and click here, and then that'll access my work instruction for it or my process for it. Or I just click on the link there, and it takes me right to it as well. So there's different ways to access this information. Once you access it, then it takes you to that standard process, that SOP. So this is a really good example of linking one process to another or using one kind of like a, a, a chapters in a book kind of, you know, so you can just jump to this chapter, you can jump to that chapter, a thing like that. Uh, ensure your work area is clean and tidy. So it, it's just going to go through and, and tell you kind of what you need to inspect or observe or what you want to see. What are you expected to see? Clearly visible. What are you going to see? What are you expected to see? Are there any obstructions, anything that you can know or document? You know, you're going to be able to see that. Are they using the proper, uh, are your operators using the proper PPE? You know, somebody in the paint booth and they don't have their uh, their paint hood on, something like that. And you go, oh, man, I got to do something about that. Uh, you know, so just a step by step to ensure that the things around the area are correct or accurate. 
I, I don't know how many times I've walked around a production facility and seen improperly labeled bottles of alcohol or whatever, right? You don't know what it is because it doesn't have a label on it. You know, these are things that we can easily correct, easily fix, things that need to be identified. Ergonomics, important. Sitting, standing, can I access my VCAS computer? And also, and this is again, this is our standard process. We can flip through this and say, okay, these are the different items that I need to look at. And it's the same thing for any of these. We can click on these links and it takes us to our standard process. You can always access that information. You can view it, you can review it and make sure that everything is here and you're doing the proper inspections. Along with doing, let's say proper inspections or investigations or the Gemba walk, uh, what else you wanna do is record some data, right? So you've got your step-by-steps, but in addition to that, you need an area to record that information. So now we have our uh, different form items on the side of the instruction here. And then we could click on those and open up our checklist. And then we can fill out our checklist and we can see the required items versus the not so required items or the general comments. Uh, and this is great too, because you can walk through and you can make sure that you're checking off all the boxes you're supposed to be checking. Everything you're supposed to be investigating, observing, it's all big about observing. You're gonna be able to do that. Uh, let me put some stuff in here and we'll see what happens. If I type some super secret code in, there's I am, team member, Spiro supervisor, uh, workstation organized uh, correctly, yes, that looks pretty good. So everything clean and tidy, maybe it is, maybe it's not. You know, oh, you have some soda cans sitting around or papers everywhere, it's a big mess. You know, maybe that's a fail. Workspace free of materials and obstacles. So you can go through checklist. And of course you can fully configure these. You can set these up any way you want to. And this is a lot of what we consider radio buttons. You have pass fail, single selection type of stuff. Maybe some of this stuff, and I think there's some down here that would be like an NA. This one in this, in this walk, in this inspection, this check, in this audit, uh, it's not applicable. You know, so you could have those in there. You could always have more options, of course. Uh, and then your comments. So then we could go through, perform our inspection. Uh, team members using the necessary protective equipment. Yes, they are, super important. Or, uh, oh no, I observed that there were certain people that were not wearing their, their safety glasses in this area. So we make it a fail, you know, and then we can go down here and we can say, you know, personnel not wearing eye protection something like that so then you can make your comments you know and I, I'll just fill out the rest of this later I think or we'll hit cancel on it for now but uh, you know so you can fill out this information this is all get saved and stored in a report you can view the report you can see all the information you can email this to people so if you wanted to automatically email this walk to somebody you could uh, and then you could extract this information out later or a grouping of the information, and then you can check it out, look at it in an Excel sheet, and then process the data and analyze it. So you have information, and you're doing things with that information. Uh, so this is just one example of a Gemba walk slash type of audit or pro observation process that you can do. Uh, and you can configure this to anything you want to, and, and this is cool too because you don't have to always use VCAS for work instructions. Everything is a, is a process, it's a, it's a task to be done. And, and we say work instructions a lot, right? Digital work instruction, digital work instruction solution, we say a lot, but you can use it for other cool stuff too. And it's important to show and share all that cool stuff. All right, and I think that's gonna be it for today. I wanna say thank you very much. Uh, thanks for watching and look forward to the next super cool video. We're gonna have a lot of good content for you coming out. Any questions, comments, check us out on our website, vcasapp.com. You're already on our YouTube page if you're checking this out, so that's super cool. Check out some more videos, and thank you very much. And uh, there's another thing i got to show here. What is it? This thing. That thing there. The ending slide. Got to show that guy. So we got to do that, too. So thank you very much.